but yeah it's the first day of my clinical rotation in my second semester <laughs> Today is my first day of clinical rotation and I am in the vascular lab so I'm very excited to you know to see what what the day has in store um, I really don't know what to expect um, but yeah I'm excited it's 545 and I'm gonna turn the camera around on you in a minute have to meet she want us to be in the lobby at 6 15. um i left out my house early enough so where i can be in the lab lobby at six o'clock and it's not that far from my house it's only the most 20 minute drive but because of this weather and everything you know snowing i, I have to give myself an extra 10 to 15 minutes <laughs> And I have enough time to get me something to eat, so I'm gonna stop and get me something to eat because I have not ate. Um, yeah, I'm I'm hungry. My stomach. I'm not gonna be able to function without no food. So this semester is so different from the first semester. The first semester was a breeze. I mean, it was difficult, but this semester, man, I it's like really kicking my I will try to vlog, um, of course I can't vlog while I'm there, but I'll try to, you know, when I get like a little break, <clears throat> come in and update, do something, I don't know, we'll figure it out, but I'm going to try to make this a vlog, you know, my weekly, like when I do my clinical rotations and stuff or whatnot. Alright, let me get in here to this Dunkin' Donuts, hopefully this line is not long. Y'all have a great day. Hey y'all, what's up? So I am so sorry. I was not able to finish my um, first e clinical experience video because it was just a lot going on, y'all. Like it was so much. Um, first of all, it was really dark. Of course, I left my house at 5.30, I think, or it was like 5.45. I left my house uh so it was dark outside when I got there our clinical instructor she is she's really really great first of all let me just start there let's just let me just share with y'all my motivation for right now it says you will survive please don't give up on yourself I have this app um that I get these motivational quotes but anyway, so my clinical instructor, she's really great. She's been a nurse for 30 years. She's really strict. Um, we cannot have our phones on the floor, which I'm pretty sure I think a lot of schools are like that. But we cannot have our phones on the floor. She don't make us turn them off, thankfully, but we just can't have our phones on the floor. She does she don't care about smartwatches. Um, so we can I have my watch, but I cannot have my phone on the floor. So anyway, we get to clinical, we had our, um, our pre-conference, so we met at 6.15, um, we just talked about the day, what we were going to be doing, and she sent a couple of us, our patients that we were going to have that day, she sent it to us the night before, so it's only five of us in my clinical class, three of us were on the floor, two of us were in the clinics. However, I was not one of the ones on the floor, so um, I really didn't have a patient experience. I was in the vascular clinic, which it was a really good experience still. Um, it was a real chill day. I got to do some work done. You know, I did some of my drug cards. Um, what else did I do? I learned how to place a IV. You know, it was it was on a model, but it was a really realistic model. So, yeah, that was really interesting. And then the nurse that I was uh, following, she was really good as well. She had only been a nurse. How long has she been? I think she has been a nurse for like 10 years, but she was in the vascular clinic for three. But so we got called down to the ED. 
uh, which is the emergency department because they could not find this lady vein so they called her she went down i got to watch her insert the vein and she used um ultrasound uh an ultrasound machine so that was real good it was cool and then she had to insert a pick line but unfortunately the patient hacked and i was not able to go in the room because we're students and we are not allowed to go um to have covid patients i would have loved to see her insert the pick line but hopefully i get to experience it again on uh, uh somebody that don't have but uh what else so i got done with her she she brought me up to the floor around 12 30 and i met with the other team i did get to administer a subcutaneous shot the patient had um, diabetes, so it was his insulin that I was given. That was real cool. That was my first time giving an insulin shot. I mean, I've drawn blood before, and I think that's pretty much, yeah, I've drawn blood and stuff, but I've never given, like, shots, given medicine. So that was really good. And then what else did we do? So we got off the floor around 1.30. We did our post-conference we just pretty much talked about our day what we did what we learned and then i have a five page paper that i have to do on top of a one page uh, weekly journal so <laughs> yeah it's 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 crazy um whenever we are not on the floor we have to do this five page paper because when you're on the floor you do a care plan so to switch out the care plan i have to do a five page paper on we, they give us like 10 topics to choose from the one i chose is um bariatric surgery and complications so that's what my paper is about and then i still have to do a one page journal which was and just that's just talking about my experience in the vascular clinic what else uh I did not bring any food. That was a mistake on my behalf. I was hungry by like 11 o'clock. I was starving. I did stop at Dunkin' Donuts that morning. I had me some coffee and like a breakfast sandwich, but that did not hold me over at all, surprisingly. So next week, I'm going to be more prepared. I'm going to try to pack me a lunch. I'm going to make sure I got some protein bars, some fruit, um, enough water. Like I'm going to be prepared next week um right now i'm actually on my way to work it is 6 10 and i want to try to leave out <laughs> by 6 15 because i want to stop at the store i mean i i don't work where i'm going is not that far from my house it takes me literally 10 minutes i have to be there at seven but i want to stop at the store and just give me some snacks for tonight i do have my clinical bag so I'm going to take that to, with me to work tonight. Um, I'm going to get some work done, you know, because I have a lot to work, a lot of work to do. But I decided to pick up this weekend because maybe I've been spending and, you know, you got to replace what went out. So I just had to make my school payment too. So that's, that's the main reason why I'm getting up going to work because that school payment came out and, yeah, I got to replace those funds. So... Uh, I'm tired. I'm exhausted, y'all. Like, I'm so tired. But I know when it's all over with, it will be so worth it. Um, This is really hard. Oh, yeah, this is the hardest thing I've done so far, like, in my life. Uh, but like I said, I know it'll be worth it. In the end, it'll pay off. I will be a great nurse. Um, I will be very smart and, you know, knowledgeable in my field. And that's my biggest goal. Like, that's what I, that's all I want. I don't want to just be a nurse. You know, I want to be well-educated. I want to know what I need to know. Like, I want to be a nurse. I don't want just that title. You know, nurses are very powerful. Um, nurses are so crucial and important. It's just, it's, um my friend calling me i call her back um yeah nurses you know they're just man i i have so much respect for nurses um so next year i will be that nurse <laughs> and i will look back on these videos all of these late nights all of these weak moments these crying moments like 
my meltdowns i will look back and laugh and i will appreciate it but um i think that's really all i just wanted to close out that video and so i can get something posted for y'all um next week let me see i gotta look at my schedule and see where i'm gonna be next week but i know i'm gonna be on the floor i think i'm gonna be on the floor next week uh so yeah that'll be my second clinical experience and i'm going to try to vlog it you know i know i'm not going to be able to have my phone so now i know what to expect so I, it may be something like this again where i vlog in the morning you know i record in the morning um when i'm getting to the hospital and then i'll kind of just i may try to vlog on my break and then when i'm done with the day you know i'll come in and um just give y'all an update and tell you how it went so yeah that's really all for now make sure y'all subscribe if you have not done so already subscribe to my channel uh join me on this journey i know my channel is kind of going down a different path right now because i'm in nursing school and it's a lot you know i'm in to get my rn and it's 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 a lot it takes a lot of my time so i don't I haven't posted a lot of my normal content, but y'all just stick with me and you're going to enjoy these. You, you're you going to enjoy my nursing content as well. Uh, I'm going to work. Where are my night shifters at? Who out there is a night shifter? I work nights as a CNA for multiple reasons, but um, the main one right now is because I have the flexibility with school that'll be another video yeah that'll be another video um i do work for an agency i think i've said that too previously but i work for an agency and um i pick up when i want to you know that's what i like about agency i do get paid more um the downfall no you know what i'm gonna cut this video right here i will make that a separate video until next time stay beautiful peace